In today's video, I've invested over 2 million coins in the extinct Cialini. So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. For the cheapest premium trading service for just £4, four euro or free with Amazon Prime. You'll get yourself daily trading and investing guides covering both Xbox and PlayStation with an array of different techniques depending on your budget. I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million on multiple titles and recently making over 10 million in the first month for the last three years. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is talking about me investing in Cialini, just talking about investing in the MLS players, um, how I think they're going to do this week, uh, buy time, sell time, price range updates, a bit of everything really. Um, we're just basically going to be covering this bail that's come out today and how I think everything regarding him is going to do. So, we've got ourselves this Gareth Bale today. Now, this card got leaked last week. Uh, I believe it actually got leaked stat for stat uh, correctly. But, if I showed you this card, I think the odds that you guessed that this SPC would come out at, I believe it's 150k, is very low. Uh, not even 100k. It's a 93 rated card, and I'll be honest with you, a 93 rated, probably SPC border value, is very close to 100k. Let alone a card with 4 star skills, a card that has a left back utility, right wing utility and right mid utility and uh, yeah in general just four star skills and four star weak foots it's a very very good card so even though we knew this card was coming out for a week and a lot of his link investments were inflated this card has come out at i'd say potentially half the price and a fraction of what we thought it would cost as a result even though everything has been up all week it is still a really good investment because as I say, it's, we've been given new news, and the new news is that the SBC is half the price we'd expect it being, which meant even though, yes, stuff got leaked, it wasn't leaked, the bail was going to be 100k. So what I've done in result is I've gone and bought myself a bunch of cheerleanies. Now, I bought these cheerleanies at max price, uh, basically had to snipe them, and you may wonder, why on earth have I done that? Because obviously, if he's at max price, he's not going to have any more coins on him. I mean, I'm buying him, you know, 20... not 20, sorry. About 13k more than he was all, to more, all this morning, so surely I'm buying him inflated. And yes, I am buying him inflated, but again, we are on the new news that, you know, this bail is very, very cheap. Now, why am I so confident that um, even though they're up 13k and they're all extinct, that they're going to do well? Well, I'm just very confident that everybody does, does this SBC. I think, once again, it is very close to SBC fodder, so you're going to find it quite hard people not doing this SBC. But at the same time, this is an absolutely cracking card. It's a 93 rated card. It's a famous footballer. It's not like it's a made up, I don't know, Pat New Guinea player. It's, it's a very big name in there in football as such. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a very, very popular card. I think, you know, for 100k, I don't know if there's much you can buy on the market that's better. So I think he's going to be making a lot of people's teams over Team of the Year. Especially when everyone's doing their untradeable packs. It will literally take a few untradeable packs for people practically to do this guy for free. So as a result, um, I think his links are going to keep going up and up and up, presuming that we do get ourselves a, um, what's it called? Presuming we do get ourselves some price, uh, get, get ourselves a price range update, that's it. The only way that I see the, um, the bail not being demanded is for some unknown reason. If we get an extremely good left back or right wing SBC, I could see that dropping the demand of bail. But it's a little bit like Di Maria, where Di Maria, I'm pretty sure, was out for the best part of like two weeks. I think we did have another SBC that was either a left wing and right wing, but it didn't really affect the Di Maria links because Di Maria was just such a good player um, that he managed to, you know, hold all his link investments. I, I mean, we can see right here that Di Maria came out on the 18th, and it was all out. Of, sorry, he was available to do all the way through to the first, so it was out for like two weeks. So what we want to do right now is we want to go and see. Okay, well, if he was out for that long, how did his links do? You know, did they hold between the uh, 18th to the first? And if I'm not wrong. They did. So, let's have a little look. Look at December, because obviously that's when he's got his card. So, he got his card here, which we can see his link investments here, 29k. Um, there we go. In fact, before he came out, he was 28k. He then proceeded to come out, and he went from 28k to 40k. He then held his value for basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it was only on the... If I can go back to the Di Maria... So it was out until the 1st. It was only until, I think, two days until the SBC expired that he kind of went down in price. Now, when the SBC expired, very interesting enough, he actually did um, not crash as such, but he did, you know, we, we saw the more significant drops. So the SBC expired here. 
So it's only towards the end of this that we really see him drop. And even when the SBC expired, he didn't go back down to the... Uh, was it 28k? Yeah, he didn't go down to the 28k. He stayed inflated 7k. And that's because this Di Maria, I'd say, is comparable to the likes of uh, Bayo. Now, I think this Di Maria is probably a bit better. 100k for him to have 5-star skills. Definitely a lot more linkable. But I think this Bale is, to, to an extent, the demand of Di Maria. And this Bale was out for 30 days. Uh, so I, I can basically see the demand on these players being for at least two weeks, unless they're going to go and release something as good as Bale. Um, yeah, so let's go and turn to the MLS investments. Now, before we go to MLS investments, uh, we do have the likes of the Welsh investments. Um, it's a bit hard because there's not really much room on the uh, cards. Like, you buy them at 200, but the most you're going to get is 260. This card, I think, is kind of the same. You can buy them at 100, but the most you're going to get is 130. And likewise, this card has 130k price range, so you're not going to go anywhere near that. So, other than him, the only other player you got is Dan James. I think Dan James isn't bad. I think picking him up at uh, 100, 105 or whatever is not bad. I think he can hold his value. Um, again, he's got, obviously, the uh, club utility. But the main thing when it comes to Bale is the MLS, because Wales does not have much to offer. Now, the interesting thing about the MLS special cards is uh, EA did not prepare for this, to put it politely. Because this SBC has made one, two, not quite that guy, three, four, five, nearly him, uh, nearly him, six, if I haven't already counted that, seven. It has made, and nearly eight even on the likes of that, uh, Vela. It has made seven MLS cards extinct. Because of the sheer demand. Even, like, this is one of the reasons why I think Chilini is so good. Even cards that are rubbish, right? This guy is rubbish, but he gets a strong link. He went from 16k to 30, uh, 33 right now. And he's going to go extinct. Just because he offers a strong link. So my opinion is, if Vela is 34k, someone who, you know, has a really decent card for his position. A sentiment slash C cam with these sort of stats. Also, I guess cams probably less desired i think um you know you're only gonna pay you're basically only paying an 8k more than what that card is for this card and i think it's uh, a lot lot nicer so that's one of the reasons why i believe in chiellini so much is because as soon as he gets that price range update you might get flooded on the market for an hour or two but the continuous demand on this card is gonna be insane i also think that could this could be the case with uh, some of the other players i mean i'll show you some of the other investments i've picked up on here at about 2.6 million coins um that's how I, invest it. I think it's just under 2 million, actually, into the cheerleading. So there's the cheerleaders I have. Obviously, got one in the club. And then um, what I've also gone and done is I've gone and stuck a bit of money on... Picked up this Donovan, because, again, it's going to be quite interesting to see, because this Donovan isn't extinct. So because this one isn't extinct, it would be interesting to see how this card slowly rises. And I've gone and picked up uh, lots of base Donovans, because I think base Donovan, again, at 32k, I quite like how he isn't up too much compared to where he was this morning. All right, no, I lied. 20 to 32. I basically just like that he's probably the most demanded cheap hero that you could probably link him with. I'd say Cahill at 130 looks quite good, but like bear in mind you're paying 32 for him. This guy's not too bad, I think, at 47. Again, I'll be honest with you, I think the MLS heroes are all pretty decent to go with. I wouldn't really go with the Ocampos, not now we've got more MLS heroes. Um, but I do like the likes of Cahill, I do like the likes of Dempsey, I do like the likes of Donovan, and if you want to go more premium, you've got that Donovan. Uh, other MLS special cards, I think this guy's not too bad with the 5 star skills, makes him quite desirable. Uh, we know his supply was completely shortened the other week when all 85s were put into SBCs, which is nice. Not a massive fan of Herrera, I'll be honest with you. I did pick up some Roldans, but I'm actually planning to sell them on. But yeah, so likes of uh, Moreno is not bad. Pato, I think, again, is a card that's going to go extinct. The problem with all these cards is they're really, apart from, I think, Donovan, none of them actually have any room between the current price and what they're going to go extinct at. Now, regarding selling these cards, if you want to play it very safe, you sell them on the Thursday. I would generally risk that there'll be no right-wing SBC or left-back SBC more demanded than this bail, and you could hold for like two weeks. Because I think on Friday, what could happen is everyone opens their own tradable packs. Now, the one thing is, this bail SBC is 100k. Like, in theory, there isn't really that much that's stopping people doing him right now. But let's say for some reason everyone's waiting till Friday to open any sort of packs with any sort of SBC fodder then the link investments to Bale, presuming they've had a price range update, could absolutely boom. Now, the one problem we have with waiting till Friday is Friday is when we got Team Year Honourable mentions, and last year that crashed the market. So you're going to have to gamble that the demand for Bale, uh, with, you know, the new, the new wave of demand for Bale is going to outweigh if we do get Team Year Honourable mentions and crash the market. Uh, and I think that's about it, really. 
yeah, Bale, again, extremely, extremely demanded. We didn't think he'd be 100k, so uh, it's a nice surprise and uh, good for the links. I'd say that's about, that's about all she wrote, really. Uh, so I, I might even go and sell my account with all the Mares is on, because, again, yesterday we put 4 million coins into Mares. Um, some people were commenting that Mares won't get a team week because it was midweek. Uh, I mean, for those that do care, this player last week got his team of the week from a Wednesday game. He literally played on the Saturday and Sunday, but he got a hat-trick on Wednesday. So, there you go. Uh, also, for further proof that you can get a team of the week, Danilio, that was from a Wednesday game. Um, Harry Kane, that was from a Wednesday game. I'm sure there are many others from Wednesday, Thursday's game. Just uh, there's no point wasting my time. I hope that that is proof, uh, yeah, I don't know, proven. Uh, but yeah, the Mario's is I could go and sell them right now for 17 and then go and invest my other account. I don't think I'm going to do that just because I quite like having multiple investments to go and show off. But thanks for watching. That's that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.